On the first episode of Gaming Unsolved Mysteries, the show where we take unsolved mysteries of the gaming industry and take a closer look at them. On this episode, we are going to be diving into the upgrade quest for the Apothecan Servant on and figure out why it is no longer in the game. Let's get into it. The Apothecan Servant is a wonder weapon that is on the Zombies map Shadows of Evil which launched with Call of Duty Black Ops 3. The map takes place in a 1920s era town called Morgue City where four characters who have done evil deeds now have to defeat the mysterious Shadow Man who is the leader of the Apothecan who has been watching their every move. Within Shadows of Evil, the Apothecan Servant can be built using parts from enemies within the map, such as the Margwa Heart, the Margwa Tentacle, and Xenomatter. The Apothecan Servant cannot be pack-a-punched, but at one point there was a method to get it pack-a-punched. When doing the glitch, you can see that there is a pack-a-punch name for the Apothecan Servant. So why did they take it out? And what happened to it? Jason Blundell, the lead director of the time for Treyarch, went on to Noah J456 YouTube channel, a COD Zombies enthusiast, and had this to say. Here's here's one that doesn't have to do with this map. Sure. The number one question I was asked is Yes. Is the Shadows of Evil Wonder Weapon upgradable? <laughs> um Okay, let me be let me be definite and cryptic at the same time. As expected. Yeah. Um, it is not possible to upgrade the Apothecon Servant in Shadows of Evil. The people over at COD Tracker were able to get their hands on a work in progress build of Black Ops 3, where you can see that there was once a upgrade quest for Shadows of Evil's Apothecon Servant. To start the quest, you have to get 40 zombie kills with the Apothecon Servant. Easy enough. Once you're almost done with your kills, an audio cue will play to indicate that you're almost done with your kill requirements. Once the kill requirement is met, your Apothecan Servant will then act as a proximity sensor and will rumble, rumble your controller and shake your screen. Once you get to the right location, a prompt will appear which reads hold button to hang a cocoon. Interact with this prompt to place the Apothecan Servant at the location and it will end the sensor. Once you've hung your cocoon, the player must progress to the next round. Then return to the cocoon, a new prompt will appear which reads hold button to open the cocoon, interact with the prompt to reveal an upgraded Apothecan Servant. Now that seems like a pretty simple quest line and sounds like it would actually be pretty fun. So why did they take it out? Let's get into the theories. The first theory is that the upgrade quest wasn't fully done and that's why they removed it from the game. But I don't actually buy that theory because COD Tracker was able to get a hold of an alpha build of the game and it worked just fine for them well, as far as we know. I'm not really buying this theory that it wasn't fully done because it seems like it was fully done. Move on to the next one. The second theory is that the current and last gen consoles wouldn't be able to handle the upgrade quest which I guess kind of makes sense for the last gen consoles, but who's playing Black Ops 3 on a 360 and PS3? But I feel like it would make sense and work on the current gen consoles, but I guess they want equal parts both ways for last gen and current gen, and that's why they removed it, which I can understand that one. And the last theory is that they removed the upgrade quest so that the game didn't feel clumped or clunky which I guess kind of makes sense I mean I don't understand how it would feel clunky or clumped because it's just can't go here get kills all right lose your weapon for a round come back you're done don't know how that would feel clumpy or clunky or even the pack-a-punch that would have been perfectly fine just Let's throw it in the pack a bunch, get it. Now the only way we can get it is through mod tools. We haven't gotten an official word from Treyarch or Jason Blundell. So in the meantime, the case will remain unsolved.